five minutes. All right. Where's the? Yeah. Okay, this is on. Can you hear me? Yeah. Uh, about three years ago, I met the uh, CC. <laughs> you remember? <laughs> he asked me to form a chapter in Albany. I did. I was uh, lucky to uh, have a. Uh, I started an Asian American organization in Albany. At that time, there's no Asian American. We have uh, dozens of uh, associations, you know, Indian, Chinese, Pakistani, all, they all have their own association. And there's no Asian American organization. So uh, we, were, we were lucky to, uh, to start a, a chapter. And start from the beginning, uh, we uh, invite all the community leaders to be our uh, Funding member or the committee member, so that just luck out. So that's a very good beginning, and uh, since then we have organized uh, more than uh, a dozen uh, a major event uh, for two years. Uh, about average about fifty to one hundred people, except the grand opening. Grand opening we have one hundred eighty people. So uh, <laughs> that's the that's the brief history. Oh. Okay, we did a lot of planning at the beginning, almost six months of planning, inviting all the non-Chinese, it's not a Chinese organization, so we have to invite all the non-Chinese community leaders to be on board, yeah. Uh, you can see the Indian, Nepalese, Korean, they all came to the grand opening, and they, uh, we have about uh, 55 live members today and uh, 20 of them are non-Chinese. We well, still have uh, like 35 Chinese life members. I, st <laughs> I, I, I want to reduce that number the percentage-wise. I don't want to be a Chinese organization. So that so, uh, is uh, the vehicle for Forge Unity. You know, don't start with uh, you know, Chinese organization. Uh, let me see. Yeah, we have a, all kind of a event. Uh, we see elected officials and uh, uh, city mayor, Albany mayor, and Schenectady mayor, city councils, uh, town supervisors, and uh, you remember town supervisor, uh, and also uh, state senators, state uh, assembly members, all the way to congressmen. They all came to our event. So that's a, that's a good vehicle to get connected. Right now we're all on first name basis. You know, we make a phone call, they, they show up. So that's a, and the other thing is, uh, Ron Kim, the state assembly member, want to form a, a caucus in a state uh, legislature. And he said, hey, Jui, I need you to support, get the folks uh, come over because uh, this day, only about a few days before the event, I quickly make phone calls and get all the people lining up, standing behind him. So that, because of the media event, all the you know, TV stations, all that. And the other thing is, oh, what happened? Yeah, we have our Paul Tanko, you know, that uh, the congressman, very friendly. Whenever we need him, he show up. Because of that, and early this year, the state government want to have a state of the state speech asking the commissioner to represent the governor. So they contact us. They say, well, this is the only Asian American organization in the capital district. So we, we had a privilege. And uh, through that, we get an internship program. <laughs> I help you, you help me. So that's the situation. Uh, this is the commissioner, and uh, we had, uh, you know, Republican Party 101, Democratic Party 101. We tried to have uh, by nonpartisan, so we invite them to educate our uh, members. And uh, oh, most recently, uh, the state uh, commissioner of uh, human rights contact us. They say, well, you. We want to have uh, communication with the Asian community, so we, we quickly 
get the uh, people to listen to this. And we have uh, internship programs, educational programs throughout the year. Again, internship program very, very important to us. So, all, okay, that's, uh, yeah, we have the voter registration training from uh, APIA vote. That, yeah, that's all I have. Yeah. You know, thank you. Small chapter. <laughs>